Aloha, welcome. Uh, my name is Matthew. Um, you probably have one of these Porsche 911. That's what the topic is. Originally, I was gonna film this me changing the brakes on the car, which I did, but I wanted to compare the prices for taking it to the dealer versus doing it yourself. So what I have here is the brake rotor from this Porsche 911, this is the old one. And uh, what happened was, it was wearing thin. There's supposed to be these little dimples that show you that there's still life in it. And the rotors on the car had gotten really thin. We're talking two millimeters, so uh, we'll discuss that. Don't make fun of my slippers. Okay, so the red part on this is the caliper and uh, caliper squeezes with these pads in the middle on the rotors. Now, I was told when I took this car to the dealership that the brakes were in dire need of replacement. And me, I'm mechanically inclined, I looked at it and said, oh, it's four millimeter in the front, three millimeter in the rear, I'll drive it a little longer. And I didn't know that the pads, when they're new, they're like 11 millimeter. And so I said, okay, well, let me know how much it costs. And I went to the dealership in Hawaii and they've been very good to me. And they wrote me out an estimate of about $3,300. Um, and that wasn't including like the little shop charges and some of the taxes, so it might have been more. And that was to be uh, new rotors, new pads, new little shims that go with the hardware, and then flush the brakes. Now in Hawaii, it's kind of hard to get parts for this car, and I've since then learned where to get them. And I, uh, online, when you want to ship stuff to Hawaii, it's not always easy. So I contacted this place called uh, FCP Euro because they had a posting for the pads. And uh, when we go inside, I'll review the two costs of different things. But I've already gone ahead, put the new rotors, new pads on this car. All right, I moved inside because one, it started raining, and two, I wanted to get some paperwork. Um, so I mentioned that I took the car to the dealership, um, Porsche of Hawaii or Porsche Hawaii. They've been really good to me. Um, and when you bring your car in there, they uh, do a full inspection at no additional cost, and they break down all the stuff that's wrong. Now this paperwork is old, but at the time, that I had brought it in, they highlighted the brakes are bad. And they noted that they're four millimeter in the front, four millimeter in the back, and then I put about 10,000 more miles on the car since then, and uh, asked them for the quote, and the quote came back at $3,300 front and rear, not including all the taxes on all the items, and the shop fees, like whatever they charge to throw stuff away or miscellaneous stuff. Now, when the dealership does it, they replace rotors, pads, just like they do with mine, but they include the flush. And so um, that's about $3,300. I ordered a kit through fcpeuro.com. And uh, I was shopping for something and they'd randomly sent me an ad uh, in the email for the brakes. And I was like, ooh. And so I contacted them and I'm like, hey, do you ship to Hawaii? Um, their brake kit was like 900 and something dollars. I think it was 915 for front rear rotors for my Porsche 911 Carrera S two wheel drive. And it was uh, front rear rotors, front rear pads, uh, shims all the way around, front sensors, rear sensors, because they're different and the shims are different to each thing and pins and the whole kit and caboodle, complete kit. And so, since it with, with shipping was like $1,150 versus the $3,360 quoted by the Porsche dealership. So I'm like, oh, uh, I'm dumb, I can work on cars. I went to school to be a mechanic, even though I never was a mechanic. Um, so, I, looked up on YouTube. This video is not how to do it. This is how much it costs to do this educational in a different way. And uh, someone had a really simple video. They even named out the, the name of the the bolts and where the bolts are. And so I watched that and that's what I did. 
Um, it took me oh, two hours, I guess, to do the first wheel and 40 minutes to do each additional wheel after that. And uh, I saved a ton of money. So if you're wondering the cost savings on doing it yourself, tremendous. Um, yeah, uh, that's all it's supposed to be, short and sweet. Dealership 3360, do it yourself, 1150. And of course you need tools, you know, when you need a jack that goes low, $100 jack, you need to take the wheels off, so you need the right socket for that. You need a torque wrench to put the wheels back on correctly. You want to have the right nuts. And then on mine, sadly in the front, and the guy warned me in the video, um, the caliper comes off and then there's a Y, uh, the, the brake line is a fixed brake line that comes up and it has a mount tab mounts to the front suspension. Well, sure enough, when I'm putting that in, I didn't even get it like three quarters of the way in and I broke the bolt. And so then I had to get a tap set and pull out the nut and then put in another nut. And that was drama. And so that actually ended up taking me a lot longer than I expected. So the first one was hard once I got that and the understanding of how it is. Um, that's all I wanted to share today is how much does it cost to DIY your brakes on your Porsche 911 versus taking it down to the dealership. And uh, yeah. Maybe I'm not including the brake fluid, which is like another 20 bucks. And, um, but brake fluid you're supposed to flush out every two years anyway, so just, you know, you do that. Um, I don't know, we'll go for a drive, I'll show you. I went, I went and met up with some uh, the car club people here for the first time in forever. I actually went outside, so random, imagine that. Alright, aloha. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. Till next time.